Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Williams at Jaws Fitness. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get fit together. Today, I actually was watching one of Brandon Campbell's videos about building a budget home gym. And as much of a fan of Brandon Campbell as I am, um, I still thought that it was a little pricey and he knows that. He knows that it's easier to go uh, the Craigslist route. And uh, I have went the Craigslist route in building my own home gym. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that. You can watch them by clicking the link up above if you want. A lot of people don't want to go the route of Craigslist. They want new, and I get that. I don't blame you whatsoever. If I had the budget to buy all new, I totally would. With that being said, you can buy all new in a budget fashion if you go to the right place. And this video is specifically going to be about building a budget home gym via Titan, and then I'm gonna throw in a twist at the end. Um, eventually, I'll just do a full budget gym video on how you can make any gym of, you, of your choice mixing in all the different facets of Rogue, Titan, etc. But this video specifically is gonna be focused on Titan, and like I said, with a little bit of a twist at the end, yeah, let's get going. So as I mentioned, I was watching Brandon Campbell's budget rogue home gym, and I noticed he also had one that was the uh, Elite FTS gym. And of course, he's got the Craigslist home gym. Now, uh, I also did my own version of uh, the Craigslist gym. Uh, just explaining a little bit about my finds. You can find that right there, uh, along with uh, talking about weight plates, Now what we are going to talk about today is Titan and I did come up with some flaws with Titan's website which is why I brought up the weight play issue. So first and foremost we're going to go ahead and start out with exactly what Brandon started out with in his Rogue Fitness video and that's a barbell and I completely agree. You, need a de you definitely need a good barbell and after scouring through Titan's website of barbells and I've personally never bought a barbell from Titan. I have come to the conclusion that the Atlas Bar may be the best option for you if you're building a home gym via Titan Fitness because it is $181.95 obviously. But if you look down, it does have a 220,000 PSI. Now to compare that with Brandon's pick from Rogue being the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, if you look, it has a 205,000 PSI. So with those statistics, you would assume that the Titan Atlas bar is better than the Rogue Power Bar. However, a closer look, warranty of one year versus lifetime warranty. So are you paying about $70 more for this? Yes, you are, technically. But with that being said, we are talking about a budget gym via Titan Fitness. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our cart. And we are going to move forward in looking for a bench. And fortunately, Titan's website is pretty user friendly for the most part. And with Brandon, he picked just your basic flat bench from Rogue, just because it was the cheapest option. However, considering that Titan has the same price for both their incline and their flat bench, you might as well just go with the flat bench version because you never know what you're looking to do. But before we add the bench, I did want to show you guys something. Titan does an option where you can do the bench and the power rack combo with the T3 or with the T2. Now the really cool part about the T2 is if you look over here, the T2 short rack by itself is $299 and the T2 short rack with an incline bench is $390. So you're technically saving about $30 there with the addition of the doing it as a combo. Now I'm not saying that you should do the T2. Uh, just as a quick disclaimer, when Titan first came out with the T2 bent, or T2 power rack, I actually bought one because it was actually 
uh, the full size and it was $270 at the time, still free shipping. But that was four years ago. If I could go back and do it again, I would definitely go with the T6. And actually I'm in the market to just go ahead and upgrade uh, whenever they get back in stock of the 36, 36 inch depth T6 squat rack. Just because, like I said, I've had the T2 for the past four years and what I've found is I would much prefer something a little more stable like this, especially considering it has the extra extension because it has the plate holders and extra J hooks and extra places to have someone else bench or squat with you at the same time you are benching or squatting. Now enough about my rant about the T6. Let's go back and look at the T3 series. You could go with the T3 squat rack, just the basic squat rack, which is $320. And that is comparable to the choice that Brandon made with the Rogue's SML 2C squat stand, which was $445. And their pair of spotter arms cost $162.75 with Rogue. And with Titan, their spotter arms are $82. So that's a huge difference in price. That's half the price when it comes to the spotter arms. However, since the price is comparable, I would say that you just go ahead and do one of the uh, combos, whether it be with the T2 short rack and incline bench, or if it be the T3 and incline bench. The cool part about the T3 is it actually comes with an extension that you can put on four extra plate holders and it comes with two plate holders as well. But since we're on a budget and we're going the best budget route possible, we'll go ahead and go with the T2 and the bench combo. Now the next thing that Brandon talked about was plates. And the problem with Titan is they don't make very many uh, metal plates. Uh, as you can see, can see here, I've got the bumpers pulled up and that's really the main thing that they focus on is their bumpers. Uh, fortunately, they do have change plates and they even have a set of change plates it goes up to 37 and a half pounds for $125 uh, now their bumper plates are sold as singles except for the 25s as far as the cheap version now Brandon Campbell did five 45s one pair of 35s one pair of 25s tens fives and two and a halfs so going with that same basic model if we went with all bumper plates except for the change plates via Titan, you'd be looking at $932. And if we look at our total here of $571.95, so we'll just go ahead and say $572 and $932, you're looking at a total of $1,504, which is still cheaper than Brandon's pick for Rogue Fitness with $1,954 with shipping. The best part is this shipping is free with Titan. So you're coming about out about $450 cheaper going via Titan this way and you get all bumper plates. But if it were me and you were looking to build the ultimate home gym, you can go with the good old Walmart variation. Now the cool thing about Walmart is they'll actually ship it to you for free. And these are just the standard cap barbell two inch plates. And I went ahead and did five pairs of 45s, one 35, 25, 10, five and two and a half. And it only comes out to $742. So that's a pretty nice option as well, especially considering uh, we're looking to keep this as budget as possible. And if you wanted metal plates, since Titan doesn't offer that, you could go that Walmart route of the 571 plus the 742 because it is about $200 cheaper going with the metal plates, the metal cap plates from Walmart as it is going through and doing bumper plates with Titan. Now, that is my biggest issue with Titan is the fact that they don't have the metal plates. I have seen them on their website back during Black Friday. However, they are no longer there on the website. So if you don't mind going with bumper plates, that is still a phenomenal deal. But if you wanted metal plates, 
and you were looking to keep a budget, I would definitely suggest going with Walmart because it's going to be a cheaper deal with free shipping. And these are pretty decent plates. Uh, a lot of my plates that I have bought secondhand are these cap standard barbell plates, and they do very, very well. So your two options are going with Titan with the 572 plus the 932, which is 1504. Or if you really wanted to go with the metal plates, you could go with Walmart, as I mentioned. So the 742, which would give you a total of 1314. Now guys, that's pretty dang good if you're looking to build your home gym and those were the only things that you needed was a bench, a squat rack, and a barbell, and some plates. Obviously, uh, depending on your goals, you may or may not want more than that. However, this is a fantastic option. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And as always, let's get fit together. I'll see you next time.